Welcome back everyone to Tabletop Salt. I'm David. And I'm Ross. And today we're going to be bringing you an 1850 points battle report. I'm going to be fielding my Necrons today. And I'll be using Cult Mech, Skatari and the Knights. So today we're going to be doing Tactical Escalation. How that works is that we get as many Tactical Objective cards as it is turns. So turn 1 we start with 1, turn 2 you can have up to 2, etc, etc. Simple enough. Score a lot of points, that's the main aim, and refresh your hands next turn. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the forces we brought for you today. Here is 1,850 points of War Convocation. Now, to explain War Convocation, what it is, is it's a mixture between Skatari, Cult Mech, and an Imperial Knight. This formation allows basically all the units to gain the Canicles of the Omissaria special rule, which is in the Cult Mech book. It allows everything to ignore the Gets Hot rule, which is really, really cool. But ultimately, one of the coolest things is that all your upgrades for your units are free. And that's a lot of free points, which is excellent. So anything here you see, I've given it all the upgrades I can, so you have to bear with me when, when I'm starting to go into this. So we'll start with the Tech Priest Dominus. He has a conversion field, digital weapons, eradicate array, he's keeping his micro stubber. He has the Scryer Skull Principatus and his usual Info Slave Skull as well. All of that upgrades were free. I've taken Gatifron Destroyers, they've got Heavy Grav Cannon and Cognis Flamer. I've got two units of three Breachers, they're going to take Torsion Cannons and Hydraulic Claws. I then have behind them, in the Skatari Force, three Dragoons in a single unit with Phosphor Serpentus. I have a Knight up in the back there. The Knight is a Knight Crusader, I believe that's the correct one, and it has a Rapid Fire Battle Cannon, Avenger Gatling Cannon, and a Storm Spear Rocket Pod. All of that, as far as I'm aware, because the formation is free upgrades, which is lovely. On my side with my Skatari Force, I have seven Vanguards, they've taken two Plasma Calvers, the Alpha's taken a Phosphor Phoenix, an Arc Mole, Conversion Field, Digital Weapons, and they've also got an Omni Spec. The Rangers have two Transonic Arquebuses. The Alpha has an Arc Mole, Arc Pistol, Arkham's Divination, Omni Spec, Conversion Field, and Digital Weapons. Uh, in the Elites, I have Sakarin Rust Stalkers. The Principus has a Conversion Field, Digital Weapons, Pre Enhancer Data Spike, and Omni. Essent Mask. We then have Infiltrators, they've got Fletcher Blasters and Taser Gouds. Principus has Info Skull, Conversion Field, Digital Weapons and the Phase Taser. And finally we've got the two Drone Crawlers, they're going to be equipped with Icarus Arrays, Cognus Manipulators, Cognus Heavy Stubbers and Mind Scanner Probes. There is a lot of upgrades there, uh, several hundred points worth of upgrades completely free I don't usually like fielding this, because uh, it's a little bit crazy, and I'm going to get a whole bunch of rules wrong, but keep us, keep us right in the comments, but we'll see how this works out. And that is 1,850 points of War Convocation. So I hope you got all that guys, that's uh, a lot of admit coming my way. So to counter that we brought uh, 1,850 points of Necron Decurians. So we've got uh, outside of the Curian, however, we're going to start with Emotech Stormlord, who's going to be my Warlord in this case. And then we have a Reclamation Leading, uh, which has an Overlord, five Immortals with Gauss Blasters, um, five to sorry, six Tomb Blades and squads of three with Particle Beamers, Shield Veins and Nebel Scopes. We then have 40 Warriors, all in 10-man squads. Two of them have taken Night Scythes with the Tesla Destructors and two of them have taken a ghost art each and that is the reclamation legion and then i have also taken the cannot take harvest as well and that has three necron wraiths with new upgrades uh three cannot take scarab bases and a we've also taken a da -da -da, cannot take spider with a fabricator claw array and then finally in the back again outside of the decurion we have a triarch stalker um, not much, just literally going to stand, gouse everything in the face and try and survive. And that's my 1850 points of Decurion. So we've shown you our armies guys. Um, Necrons won the, the roll off for deployment, so I've chose to deploy first again. 
So in the middle here we have our Stalker and our Glow Starks filled with Warriors. On my left flank I've got a unit of Tomb Blades. In the middle I've got a unit of Tomb Blades here in the building. We've got our Immortals down here with an Objective Knocker 6. And then we have a Tomb Spider. Essentially this flank's a Canoptic kind of Harvest. And in reserve we have two Night Scythes with uh, 10 Warriors each, Emotec in one and my Overlord in the other. Um, but this is the Necrons deployment. And for the Cult Mech and Skatari Knights counter deployment, I have my Dune Stalkers over on this edge along with a unit of Breachers. Uh, all my sort of Rust Stalkers and Infiltrators will be hiding the back because Dave has a bunch of pie plates that would insta kill them ignoring cover, so they're going to hide. Dragoons up here and Rangers in the back. We also have our Knight in the centre, going to be moving forwards. We have Vanguard on this side, unit of Breachers at the very bottom, with our Destroyers and our Dominus at the top here as well, sitting on Objective 5. So that's our deployment. Uh, because Dave has Emotech, we are going to be starting with Night Fighting. No, no way around that. So that's pretty cool. And the one thing I'm going to roll for is Seize the Initiative, which I don't get. Great! So with that, we'll be moving on to Necrons, turn one. Right, we're at the top of Necron turn one, so let's go ahead and draw our first tactical objective card, see what we get. Okay, so we have Secure Marker 1, which is right here. So that's within jumping range. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll do my movement and we'll show you where all the Necrons have ended up. Right, so we've finished off the Necron movement. Um, just to let you know guys, the Canoptic Harvest here has chosen Renovation Protocol. And we did create another Scarab and we didn't roll a 1. So that was nice. So essentially the whole army has just moved, moseyed on up to try and get everything I can as much as I can at the threat range. Um, which is quite nice. But uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the objectives we revealed. So marker number two, that's plus one to your cover save. We were sitting on this at the start, marker number six, and that's reroll full shots of one. Uh, over here on the ghost arc, you can't see it, but there's nothing of note in that one. And then the one with the scarab here, again, you can see it around there, nothing of note. Which leaves us two mysterious objectives on Ross's side to be revealed. So with this, let's go ahead and start the Necron shooting phase. We're going to start the Necron shooting phase with this unit of Tomb Blades. We're going to shoot their particle beamers up in the top floor against these destroyers. Uh, destroyers, yep. Destroyers with the, the Tech Priest Domina. So we put the blast marker over the middle and they were pretty much hitting every single guy in all the floors. Cool. So a direct hit will give us seven hits in total. Whoa. So let's go ahead, go for our first one. It's going to go back, that will be 4 inches, so that way that's going to hit nothing, and then the second one, that's a direct hit, and the last one, that's a direct hit, so that's 14 hits in total. Oh dear. Okay, so out of the 14 hits, 8 of them are going to be on the destroyers with the domina, and 6 on the, the breachers in the bottom floor. Lovely. So we'll roll for the destroyers first of all. We're looking for threes to wind, strength six. That's not so good. Would you like to look out, sir? Uh, no, I'll take on his two up armor save and then five up. Oh, sorry, he is closest, yeah. He is closest, yeah, so uh, all fine. He is fine, and then we've got the guys in the bottom floor, winding again on threes, strength six. A lot and better. That's uh, six wounds. Six wounds, and they are just three up saves. Uh, oh, oh, so that's one down and one down to one wound. Next to shoot will be the Immortals. Now we only have two of them in range of Breachers. Yep. I keep getting their names right today. This is great. <laughs> First time. Um, so yeah, so we're looking for threes to hit. It's two hits. They're strength five AP four, so it's going to be fours to wound. That's two more wounds. Two more wounds. Three up save. And one is down, unfortunately the one that is closest 
has is full set of wounds. Has full set of wounds. So they're both down to one wound apiece. Actually, he was closer to Tomb Blade as well, so he's dead. Yeah. Okay, next up is going to be the Ghost Arc here. Now, I only moved him six inches. I feel like I should have cruising speed of the guy now, because I've checked the passengers are not in range to shoot at a thing. But hey, you learn, don't you? So the vehicle's Gauss uh, Flux Array is going to shoot up at the destroyers. With the Dominus. With the Dominus. I got it right, that's an important thing. Is it? Yeah. Yep. So, <laughs> 10 shots, we're looking at 3's to hit. Okay, not too bad. You're near the Triarch stock, or do you not get its benefit? No, because the vehicle can't benefit ah, from it. The vehicle can't. Only the, the Warriors can in Immortals. So. Sure. Okay, and then we've got 5's uh, to wound, because Strength 4 against Toughness 5. It's a wound. So, I'll turn the 2 up. And we're fine. Next up will be my other set of Tomb Blades on the other flank with their Particle Beamers. We're going to drop three shots on top of these guys, hitting three times with direct hits. So the first one... Ooh! That's probably going to miss. Yeah, I'd say that's a miss. Boom! The next two... Okay, so we're going over three inches. You get one, one hit. Not so good, guys. And then the final one. That's gone. That's good. Just one hit from the particle beamers. Not good. Yeah, I can deal with that. Do I roll two uh, wounds? Let's do it. Threes. <laughs> it's a wound. It's a wound. And I do get a three up save with these guys, which I don't make. So I'll be uh, taking a wound. Taking a wound. Now last to shoot with the Necrons will be this Ghost Arc, which uh, did have to go at cruising speed to get the objective, but also to get in range to shoot anything this turn. So the Gus Flux Array is going to shoot all the way down at... Breachers? Yep! Oh, I'm getting it right! So 10 shots, snap firing. Okay, we got one hit. Ooh. And then it's fives to wind. Nothing! Let's do it again with the passengers. They are also snap firing. That's better, and that one's yeah, cocked. Yeah, nicer. Cool. So we get three hits, and it's five to wind. That's cocked. So that's one save to make. If you right. fail this, though... Yeah, surely you can pass this one. And he yes. does. He does. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and do some run moves with my army, and we'll recap where it is and see how many objectives we managed to claim this turn. Okay, so we're just at the end of the Necron turn. So essentially all I've done is I've ran my wraiths up and everything else is hunkering down ready to take a Skitari thumping and Cult Mechanicus thumping. And the night. Uh, yes, and the night. Um, we did claim marker number one. Literally camped on by this Ghost Ark, so it does give us a victory point. Uh, and Ross, you have a leadership check to make for me, please. Yep. Preacher on his own here, lost two of his dudes, he's like, no. Take the bottom there. Yep, so leadership eight. Uh, he'll be definitely running, David. Uh, let's see how far he runs. So or, 2d6. Or tracks, whatever he fancies doing. Uh, that'll be six inches. Yeah, he'll still be on the table. So with that, let's move on to turn two, sorry, turn one. Yep. Adeptus Mechanicus. Turn one for the ad mech. Uh, let's have a look at the single card I get this turn. Scour the skies. So I'm going to get one victory point if I destroy a flyer or a flying monstrous creature. They are coming in though. So I've got away a turn. Cool. That'll work. That's fine. So I'm just going to review all the special rules that I get for ad mech and let you know what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so starting the Admech turn, I'm going to do a lot of abilities that we seem to get for some reasons. So the first one will be the Doctrine Imperative by Henrik Omniens, which will give all the Skatari forces plus three ballistic skill but minus two weapon skill. So that's pretty cool. And then I'll activate a Canical of the Omissiah, uh, which affects the whole army. I have got nine units affecting it, so that is going to be the top one. I've decided to give them all uh, re-roll failed to hit rolls this turn. That's nice. So, in essence, that's making nearly the whole army twin-linked. 
Cool. What I get to do is I'm going to firstly reveal this mysterious objective here. That is number five. Cool. So I'll roll for this one first. That'll be three. Skyfire Nexus. Oh, that could be good. So I need to clear that building. You really do. And then I'm going to use the Scryer Skull from the Dominus, which I paid for. And I'm going to reveal this mysterious objective. Which will be Skyfire, Skyfire, Nexus. Skyfire Nexus again. Which is interesting. Now I also took on the Dominus, I took another Scryer Skull, which is a relic which is called the Scratch Girl Principle, which allows me to do the same thing again, but there's nothing. Or I can skull a uh, enemy vehicle, and that will cause all my armor penetrations on it, I can re-roll. And the glances if I can, if I want to try and get penetration. I'm gonna choose this Ghost Arc here, and uh, basically I really want to kind of bring it down. You do indeed. So with that, I'm gonna finally finish up all my rules and then move my guys and see what I'm gonna see what I'm gonna blast back with. So yeah, in the movement phase, didn't do too much. Moved a couple of guys forwards where possible, but a lot of the stuff mainly stayed back to shoot. We had a breacher who managed to pass his leadership check and he came back in. Nice. So that's wonderful for him. But yeah, in general, I just tried to move a bit forward, get a bit of threat range, and yeah, hopefully cause some damage this turn as we move into the Admex shooting phase. First up, we're gonna fire our breachers here. And they're gonna be firing at the Scryard Ghost Arc. David, do you wanna drink? No. Nope, because uh, I'm firing through a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, a wee bit of it's covered in the runes. Night Fight finds on as well. So you're gonna be a three up save either way. So we're needing force to hit re-rolling because of Conic Canicles of the Messiah. Nice. Don't need that. And your side armor is 13? Yes. Yeah, so I need fives, two glance, sixes to pin. So One I glance. am, yep, I'm gonna try and decide if I wanna reroll them because of my scryer. Whether I want to go for all three. You know what, I'm gonna go for all three. Okay. And I do get two pens. Cool. Okay. Was it two die? I've got two die, it's fine. Yeah, you got two die, cool. So three ups. So oh, one does get through. And, uh, yep. Okay, so we'll find it. out what the result is. Now, they are AP... I'm going to check this. I think they're AP1. Just roll it as AP1 just yeah. now. We can always see. And it's an exploding. Okay. Because you're open-topped as well. Okay. Cool! That so, was... roll for the explosion. See how yeah. far it goes. Because it could hit the tin blades. Uh, five inches. Yeah, that's going to hit the tin blades. Probably so, we'll, we'll bring everything out and we'll measure it up. Necron Warriors, gonna roll to see those ones if they explode with their machine at all. So, forced winds. Uh, caught. Same result. So, that'll be okay. six winds. So, four up armor save. Wow! Yeah, none of them. And then reanimation at plus one, so four plus for the reanimation. Okay, so bit. two die. So, they're down to eight. Now, we do have another two. Two oh, blades yeah. as well that clipped with the explosion. Two blades, fives. That'll be one, one of them. So three up armor save because of shield veins. Oh, oh, and then four up reanimation because they're part of Reclamation Legion and Decurion. They are fine. However, we do have a pinning check on these remaining warriors. So leadership ten. Oh, they are pinned. That's not so good. Next up, I'm going to fire my knight and uh, he's going to be firing his rapid fire battle cannon at the tomb spider. Going to place it here, so basically we'll be clipping the ghost arc, hitting two of these mortals, and a lot of fun. Cool. So he's blessed go four, but he is affected by Canicles of Our Messiah as well, which should uh, allow me to reroll to hits in this round. So you get to reroll those scatter die. So, yeah. Uh, one it's inch bash. So I'm probably not going to reroll that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll hit the tomb spider, probably one guy. Yep. And there. And the second one. Uh, I'm going to reroll that. Yes, because that's, uh, that's sailing. sailing. But that'll direct be, it. Wow, couldn't be more direct if you So, tries. two hits in the Ghost Arc, three in the Immortals, uh -huh. and two in the Tomb Spider. Let's get this ready. Okay, starting with the Immortals. Three of them have been hit. I am needing two to wounds, six up Night Fine, and five up Reanimation, because it's double toughness. That'll be three wounds. 
Three wounds. Give me those dice over. So let's uh, try and get some lucky with some sixes. No, oh, man. So close. Now I need this roll again, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So reanimation, five plus. Okay, so two of the immortals will bite the dust, and that will force a leadership check. Go ahead, though. You still got some more rolls. Tomb Spider, uh, two to wounds. And that'll be two wounds. Two wounds. So I think we're saying four up cover save for him. Yep. Okay, and he has a four up reanimation. Oh, he is fine. He is fine. And then the Rathfire Battle Cannon on the Ghost Arc. Yes. The first shot, uh, get two dice because it's Origins. Needing sixes. That's one. So you get it. You get it in the second one. That'll be nothing. You do get a six up night, fine. Yeah, I need this or the shield goes down. I need the shield to go. Oh, the oh. shield goes down. Um, you did get a penetrating hit though. You pen can explode it on a six. No, now just True stunned. You, which you ignore. With the Decurion with living metal means I ignore stunned and crew shaking. Gosh darn it. We'll fire the Rathfire Battle Cannon. Uh, not the Rathfire Battle Cannon. <laughs> We're going to fire the Avenger Gatling Cannon or gun or whatever it is at the Tomb Blades because oh, no. they are proving to be a pain. Uh, going to be hit on threes and canicles will cause me to re-roll. Uh, don't really need it. Don't really need it. Uh, that's 12 hits. Cool. And three used to cause a wind. Three used to wind. Are you going to jink? No, well. Give me the option. No, nah, I'm not going to jink. Okay. If you kill him, you kill him. And that will be uh, 10 wounds. 10 wounds, so night fighting six up mm -hmm. and then four up reanimation. Let's go for some sixes. How about no sixes? Ah, well, let's go for four up. Nah, they are dead. Wow. You only bye bye. one there. Ah, well. They tried to be effective, not this game. Storm Spear and Missile Pods, next for our Knight. Going to be firing at the Ghost Ark again, because it's down to side shields 11. It is. Lovely. So, forced to hit, uh, we roll into the Canicles. Canicles. Nice. Lovely. And then I am needing Strength 8, I'm needing 3s to glance. Uh -huh. I'm drinking. Good call. Uh, and that will be 2 pens, so it will be 3 up save. One gets through. One gets through, and uh, I'm needing sixes to explode. Four no. to five, that'll be weapon destroyed. destroyed. Now he does technically have two weapons. It says in the rulebook two. Sure. Fox rays. So one, two, three, four, five, six is the opposite side. Cool. So it's the opposite side. And he's down to two hull points. Gonna fire my dune crawlers next. They are going to be firing their Icarus Array. Now it has three weapons on the Icarus Array. I can fire them all, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to fire at this Ghost Ark that's lost its shield. So the first weapon they get to fire is the Deadlift Missile Launcher, Strength 7, AP 2, and it does have Skyfire, so I'm not hindered by the scrims can fire it. So I get two shots, one each. Uh, I'm going to be hitting on twos and be rolling because the Canicles are the Old Messiah. Hey, so that's Next. two hits. Uh, David, were you? Well, no, you're going to get a three up save either way. I need to see if actually. Okay. It doesn't matter, I've already jinked. You already jinked? Oh, yeah, so you're yeah. three up with Night Fine as well. So, strength seven, I need fours to glance you. That'll be nothing. So, the next gun is a twin, twin Icarus auto cannon. So, that'll be two shots each. Strength seven, AP four. Uh, all but one, twin linked. They all hit. Nice. And fours to glance. That'll be two pens. Cool. So three up, cover save. They're yeah, both nice. just saved. Now that's the pain one. I've now got the Gatling rocket launcher, strength six, AP four, heavy five, skyfire, ignores cover. So you won't be getting a save this time, David. Uh, twos to hit. Uh, we wrong because that was our cocked. So that'll be all of them hit. Nice. I'm needing fives to glance, sixes to pen. I just need really two fives. So I got just a six and a five. Just. Just. Does it explode? Uh, yep, on a six up, because you're open topped. It will explode. Okay, okay then. So roll for the explosion, because you can hurt some guys around. Yep, let's see that one. 
Four inches. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll bring the guys out and we'll show where everyone's left up. So we've merged to disembark these warriors. Let's go ahead and do our pinning check. Leadership 10. They're fine. Why don't you go ahead and try and uh, kill some more warriors though? Cool. So 10 warriors, uh, forced wounds. Whoa. Uh, that's nice. We're rolling well today, Ross. Yay! So uh, fours. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, so two fail, three fail. Yep. And then four up reanimation. So two go down just like the other warriors. Cool. And then you've got a tomb spider. Yep. Winning on fives. Nope. And two immortals winning on fours. One wound. Okay. Three up armor save for him. He is fine. Next up, we've got our ranger unit over here. And they're going to fire at these Necron Warriors. So I'm going to get eight normal shots from their, I think they've got the Galvanic Rifles. Could be the Vanguards, but either way, they are Shin 4 AP4. And then I've got two Transonic Archibuses. So twos to hit, and I'll be due to their Sectari rule, and then re-rolling due to Canical Zolom Sire. So that's all of them hit. And then fours to wounds. Now, what's your cover save? It'll be... Uh, I'm going to say that's probably about three up. Three up? Uh, is it not five up then plus one because you're not in ruins really? Yeah, we'll do that. It's just like you can literally see their heads. Cool. So it will be minus one due to Omnispec. Oh, they've got an Omnispec in there? Yep. Nice. Wow. So okay. only two go down, but they do get the reanimation. Reanimations. So one goes down, closest to be this day right here. Cool. There you that go. Was, that was awesome. And uh, two trans on a cocky buses, two to hit. So they both hit. And forced wounds. Two wounds. Cool. One saved. And then reanimation. One more goes down. We now have our vanguards next. They're going to be firing their radium carbines at the wraiths. Unfortunately, only three guys are in range, and none of the uh, strength seven AP two ones are. Darn. So I am twos to hit, uh, and rerolling because of mechanical zombie messiah. Oh hit. Now I do need sixes to wounds, but any sixes cause two uh, cause two wounds instead. Now be no wounds. None. Alright, we're almost done with the, the comic shooting. I'm going to fire my destroyers next at the wraiths. Now, I know they do get a 3 up pinball and everything, but I'm really struggling what to kill next. And I, really, deal with them. I really want them gone. Cool, so I am needing fours to hit, re-rolling. Uh, I'll take out all the misses. That's a fair amount of hits. That was a fair amount of hits. I wouldn't be too disappointed with that. Let's see if we can add a wee bit more to it as well. Uh, yeah. yeah, so cool, that was only two misses in total. Three's to wins, and you do get your standard three up race save. Oh man! Still a lot. That's some, but some there. a way bit more. That was a fail, by the way. Oh, was it? Yeah, okay. so. Oh man! Four, five. So it's uh, three up invuls. <sighs> wow! And then four up reanimation. So one wraith goes down, two wins apiece. Dominus in the unit is going to fire his eradication ray. Now you are over 12 inches away, so it's going to be the strength 6 AP3 blast. And you chose to put it over this wraith's head. Going to put it over this wraith, so slowly actually, over his body. So you're clipping a wraith and two scatter bases. Cool. So I am, let's go four. Uh, I will choose to reroll that because of mechanicals mm. of the Om Sire. Lovely. And direct that'll hit. do better. So for the wraith himself, it will be three to wounds. So that'll be a wound. Okay, so three up invul. Four up reanimation. He's fine. He's fine. And the two scarabs, it will be two to wounds. And then you will get a two up cover save. Yep. We've got the generator, night fighting, through barricade. Yeah. So two up cover save with four up reanimation. Ooh, now if I fail this, it's strength six, you said, yeah? Strength six, so you're only going to get five up reanimation. Yep. 
Ah. But he makes it. So all your all your scarabs are okay. So at the the bottom of uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus turn, I do have two leadership checks to make. So we have these immortals here. Now leadership ten. Oh. And these warriors here. They're sticking around. So Ross, you did some run moves, didn't you? Yeah, I just did one. Uh, move my dragoons forward to get a wee bit threatening because that's sort of when I start yep. taking the flank. Overall, that was a fun. That was turn. a successful turn. That was yeah. really successful. So that was kind of cool. And uh, I'm not going to achieve any objectives because you've not got any flyers this turn. But I will keep it. You got first blood. I did get first blood. So it's uh, one a piece at the moment. Let's move on to the Necrons. Turn two. That's us at the start of Necron turn two. So I'm going to go ahead and draw up to two tactical objective cards. So I have none. So we have D3 for ascendancy. If I control three victory points or three objective markers, uh, I currently hold three. Nice. Uh, in my movement, I can remain on three. So that's fine. So we'll probably get ascendancy. And psychological warfare basically makes someone fail a morale check. Mm. D3 if I get three. This is all achievable this turn. So uh, importantly though, we've got reserve rolls. So we've got two Night Scythes. So let's start with the Night Scythe with my Overlord. Comes in. And the Night Scythe with Emotech. Oh, he doesn't come in. Even with Hypological. But that's fine. That's not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and do my movement phase, guys. My can uptake Harvest is going to remain with Reanimation Protocol this turn. And uh, let's move into the Necrons. Turn two movement. Okay, so with the start of Necron turn 2, um, it's not going my way, but we're going to try and pull it back. So we finished off the movement. Again, remember this formation had the reanimation protocol. They'll probably lose it after this. We successfully built another Scarab. We didn't roll a 1, we rolled a 5, which was lovely. And um, we've just moved everything up into a little bit of threat range. We've got three objectives held, so we'll definitely get Ascendancy this turn. Lovely. Uh, we rolled 5 on the move through cover for the Stalker. I don't know what to do with him. We'll figure it out. Um, I've been a little bit cheeky. I've hit the Tomb Blades behind my guys. I've got to ignore cover, um, but it's to try and stop them getting charged in the face. And we've managed with 24 inches, sorry, 23 inch movement, plus a disembarkation, I've managed to get within rapid fire range of these Dragoons, mm. which is bad news. Mm. Um, and that Overlord, due to Reclamation Legion, does have a nice any field reanimation rules of one. Get to reroll them. Just nice. quite a nice wee bubble over there. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and move into the Necron shooting phase. We're going to start the shooting phase with those Tomb Blades and their Particle Beamers. All the way over here onto... Breachers? Yep. I'm getting it right every time. So we're hitting all three with the Particle Beamers. Let's go for it. Oof. Uh, what's that, three inches back? Got a measuring tape here, guys. I think that's still going to hit stuff. Yeah, it'll probably hit one. Just one so far. Cool. So that's four hits in total now. Oh, that's going to go back four inches. Oh, you may get two. Yeah, that's hitting two definitely. Nice. Um, so that'll be six hits in total. Mm. So with those six hits, let's go ahead and try and wind. We're strength six against toughness five, so threes. That's four saves to make. Ooh. One fail one. Fail one. Just got fail one. Uh, oh, Ooh. fail two. So that will bring another one down to one wound, but it will be your also desired. I need to get you fail and lead, uh, leadership check of some sort. Cool. Now, my pinned unit of eight Necron Warriors here are going to take a shot at these Dragoons. Mm. So we've got 16 shots in rapid fire range. We're looking for sixes. Two Uber Cog die. Okay, so we get uh, four hits. Nice. I'll take it. Uh, you are 11, aren't you? Yeah, so you need sixes to. So we need to gouse you. We need to gouse me. So, sixes. We get one. Get one. Now, I do have a five up cover save due to incense from the dragoons. And uh, I'll he be safe. He makes it like a champ. 
Now next up to shoot will be this unit of 10 warriors and the overlord with the staff of light. They're going to shoot first of all the staff of light into the dragoons. So three shots, hitting on twos. So they all got one. It's strength five, AP two, so glancing on sixes. That's nothing. This is a big one though. Mm -hmm. So we're in rapid fire range, we've got 20 Gauss flares shooting at the Dragoons. Now we're hitting on threes. Oh, I wish the Stalker was over here. That is Ooh, a wow. ton of misses. Oh, dude. So I think that's what, 10 hits in total. Yeah, 10 hits in total. We are looking for sixes. Give me as many sixes as I can here. And we get none. Really? That oh. shouldn't have happened, but oh, it just did. Dude. Things aren't going so well. Started off really well against destroyers, now it's getting worse and worse. Right, heat ray, we're in melter range of these dragoons, so I've got heavy two. So threes to hit. Good start. Mm. Now it's threes to glance, fours to pen with melter. That's a pen. That's a pen. Cool. So two cover saves. Two cover saves. Five up. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, missed them both. This was only night fighting this turn. Now it's AP1, and are you open top? I am, so you're forced to go. So, forced to go. Oh, oh. Oh. So that's one explosion, and one with plus three would give you weapon destroyed. It would. So I've got two weapons, uh, Force for Serpenta and the actual stabby stab thing. I get you. Cool. Uh, so do I roll a dice? One, two, three, it's going to be the Fossil Serpenter. And four, five, six. It's your lance. Ah, oh, I really didn't want that this to be the case. So one's gone and one lance is gone. Next up are going to be these three pesky immortals. They're going to do three Gauss Blaster shots into these destroyers. Yep. Um, so we are in range. So we've got threes to hit. That's two hits. We are fours to cause a wound with strength five. five. Oh yeah, you're right. Fours strength. to cause a wound. One wound. One wound. I'll take on the Lord. Two up save. And he's fine. And he's fine. Last up to shoot will be the Knight Scythe. And his twin link Tesla Destructor is going to shoot at the Dragoon Squad. So we're looking for threes to hit. Sixes become two additional hits. Oh, that one's cocked. That one's cocked, so yeah. Okay, so those two are added to that, so it's actually four hits. Yeah, but uh, you've twin links, so you get to reroll those two. So I do. Thank you for correcting me. It's okay, dude. Okay. So you've got actually not five two, hits. five hits, yep. So five hits in total. Now it's strength seven against eleven, so fours to glance, fives to pen. That's two penetrating hits. So cool, that'll be two five ups. Uh, neither go through, so he is a... Uh, he's wrecked. He's wrecked. Which means there's no more lances. Oh man. To finish up the Necron phase, I ran these warriors. They got three inches, so they're up claiming the Skyfire Nexus, which you need to deny Ross from having at all costs. Damn it. <laughs> um, that's the end of the shooting phase. I think you've got a morale check to give me. Sure do. Please so... fail. I failed one with this unit with units before, so these should surely pass. Uh, yes, they pass. Just, just. Oh. So I'll need to try and get uh, that victory point in the assault phase. Speaking of that, we've got some charges to declare. Now I have a charge to declare here with these wraiths and scarabs, and I'm going to charge first of all with the scarabs. Now, I just want to show you this. It's not the top floor I need to get to. The unit's actually on the second floor, and we have checked. It's. Uh, we're pretty much there anyway, mm -hmm. is what to say. So, but Overwatch time. Cool. Uh, I've got Cognus Flamers on my guys. So that gives me, with Cognus Flamers, three automatic hits per guy. So that's nine hits, and I am needing threes to win Jeff and Rod indeed. So that'll be uh, seven wounds. Okay, so I'll ignore my armor, and I'll go straight to four up reanimation protocol. Of which I fail four, so a base will go down, and I think another base will take a wound. Now I also do have a macro stubber as well on the Dominus. It fires five shots as a pistol. Lovely. And I'm needing sixes to hit. 
get one. Get one. Now I'm going to quickly check something, but I'm pretty sure I get to reroll these in my uh, shooting because of the canicles of the Messiah. Let's quickly just do this one though. And that's a wound. It is a wound. Uh, yep. AP6, so I get full armor save. Did which make I make it? anyway. Ooh. But we'll go and check that for you anyway, guys. So yeah, Canicles of Messiah says I reroll all shooting attacks. So Lovely. We'll watch shooting attack. Bad I miss anyway. Lovely. Do you want to uh, charge? Charge away. So I need three inches with the scarabs to get up to the next floor, which they make. So the scarabs are in. And uh, I'm going to reroll that one just to get more. So I've got three Roll. inches so far. Okay, so they get five inches, so they're definitely in. Now the wraiths uh, need six inches, and with their special ability, they don't get affected by moving through terrain. Cool. So, we're looking for... Oh, but they do have fleet. Do have fleet. I'm going to reroll both. Oh, we super, super get it. So uh, let's move into the assault phase. So I get to attack first. Uh, which would be interesting. So I only mm -hmm. have two attacks, uh, one each. One will go on the swarm and one will go on the, the wraith. wraiths. Cool. So let's go with the swarm first. I'm threes to hit. So I'll be hit. I'm strength five. So two I should be wound. two is to wound. Now I'll be a wound. So five up armor save. Nope. And then I'm looking for. Sorry guys, that was a six up armor save. Uh, and then I'm looking for four up reanimation. Oh, we do get it. Wraith, it will be a four up to hit. That was terrible, but it's a one. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I'm gonna just gonna sort out my attacks and my pylons, and then let's cause some damage. Okay, so we're gonna start with the scarabs. We've got four bases, so that's five attacks each in the charge. Oh. We've got twenty attacks, and they're going on to these destroyers. Uh, yep, still getting it right. Okay, so um, web skill two. So I'm looking for fours to hit. Yeah, that's not too bad. Take all these out. So that's what, what 10 hits, I believe? Uh, looks like it. Uh, yep, 10 hits. A lot of sixes as well. Cool. Um, they are strength 3 against toughness 5, so we're looking for sixes to wound. But they are bending? No, these are not. So the scarabs do no wounds. Okay. It's just the automatically wound on a 6. Cool. Right, but next up we've got the wraiths. Okay, so we've got 6 attacks. Again, Onto the breachers. Cool. So Ooh. we're looking for threes to hit. So three hit. I'm strength six, so threes to wound, sixes will rend. There's a wound and two wounds. Cool. So uh, both sides, so I've only lost a wound. wound. Now it's your power axe time. That should be fun. And lastly, we have the Tech Priest Dominus. And he will be attacking with his power axe. Now, power axe for him is not specialist weapon, so I will get three attacks. Lovely. Cool, so forced to hit. Uh, which will be one hit. Now, I really need to cause a wound, I need you to fail this, which I don't know if it's going to be so like. Forced to wound. Now will be a wound. So, three up invul. So, you're going to fail combat by one. Yeah, so I'll be leadership eight for this, leadership nine usually. And we are you're okay. sticking around. So that will bring an end to the Necron turn. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the objective points we've managed to achieve. So we can't um, achieve anything else other than Ascendancy this turn. So we've managed to hold three objectives. We actually hold four at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and roll D3 victory points. Oh, we we'll only get one. Oh well, let's move on to Adeptus Mechanicus, turn two. Turn two for the Admech. Yeah, I've got Sky of the Skies, and I really hope to shoot David out of the skies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, let's draw our cards, we'll see what we get. Big Game Hunter! Well that works quite well. I will get a victory point if I destroy one enemy vehicle or monstrous creature. D3 for gargantuans or super heavies. Now you don't have any gargantuan or super heavies. No, there's still some targets. I can think of one. Yeah. So with that I'm going to choose my imperatives, my... Well basically all my special rules. So we all get it. Let's have a wee think about that and uh, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, now I'm just uh, at the start of the Admic movement phase. Got a bit of threat with all the race and everything up on my face, which is not good. But I've certainly plenty of shooting left to go. Oh yeah, a lot of shots. So I've got some abilities to activate. First one is Doctor Imperative. I'm going to activate Gundrill Symbiosis. What that does is give all my Skitari plus two ballistic skill and minus one weapon skill. And then I'm going to use the uh, Cult Mechanicus Battle Congregation ability, which allows me to reuse one of the Canicles of the Lord Messiah. I'm going to once again allow all my units to reroll all failed to hit shoot shots when I'm firing. Which is uh, pretty fun because I'm pretty sure I've still got eight units left kicking about. Yeah, you do. So with that, let's uh, let's move some guys around. Finished up the ad mech moving. I have moved the Dragoon, who has got no close combat uh, lance up front because I literally don't know what to do with him anymore. He's just uh, having a fun time. We have our two breachers moving up the sides. That's going to be fun. Our Dune crawlers have moved back uh, just to avoid some gauss. Uh, then we have our. Da -da -da, Sakirin, well I don't know, these guys have been cowards all game because they're worried you're going to insta-kill them with blast. We've got rangers who have moved up as well. We've got infiltrators over here. And uh, our knight decided to move forward as well. We also had a vanguard to move up as well. So we've got generally a lot of things now beginning to move up because we've managed to soften the necrons a wee bit. I have activated my Scratch Skull Principalio, I think it's called. Could be wrong. From the Dominus, I can activate in combat, and I am definitely going for the flyer because if I kill him, that's two victory points, which is awesome. So with that, let's move on to the Ad Mech shooting phase. Ad Mech shooting phase, I'm going to start with the Onager Dune Crawlers and their Icarus Arrays. And they're going on the Scar Skulled Night Scythe. Night Scythe, which is going to be cool. So I'm going to begin with the Deadless Missile Launchers. Now I am Ballistic Cell 6 this turn, and I'm also re-rolling all hits. And you get Skyfire. Cool. And I've got Skyfire, so two's to hit re-rolling. Cool. I'm yeah. pretty confident in this. You gonna drink? drink? Yep. Okay, okay then. So two's to hit. Both hit. Lovely. And I'm needing fours to glance. Fives to pen. And I have two pens. Lovely. Okay, so we're looking for four plus. So they... Oh no. And for the results of the Deadless Missile Launchers, so two whole points off, and at AP2 I need sixes to explode. And that'll be... They no ignore explosions. that. So I've got another bunch of shots to fire though. Next up will be the Twin Icarus Auto Cannon. That'll be four shots, hitting on twos. Uh, wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we are needing fours and fives. Fours and fives. And now I get to re-roll these because of the scratch scroll. Now will be two penetrations. We do get your saves. Two foot ups. Nope. Uh, so it's gone, and I uh, can't explode you, but that will be a uh, crash and burn. Crash and burn. Just result our crash and burn result. Roll to see if it scattered and which it did not. So. Yeah, that's the Night Scythe gone, which will give me two victory points this turn. Going to fire our Torsion Cannon from this once fleeing Breacher, and he is in range of this Triarch Stalker. Stalker. So it is forced to hit, which is a hit, and your shield's 13, so I need 5s to glance, 6s to pen, really need a 6. That'll be nothing. Got a wee vanguard unit hiding at the base here. There's seven guys, they've got two plasma calvers, and they are gonna target these Necron warriors. So lovely. Cool. So I'm gonna be twos to hit, rerolling twos. Yeah, sorry, rerolling ones. So that's all hit. And then twos to wounds, and then it'll be four up reanimation. So that's uh, six wounds. Sweet. So the front two guys, pop. I'm just going to check for the rest of the weapons and units, see if I can still hit. Next up we've got the Radiant Carbines from the unit inside as well. And they are going to be hitting on twos and re-rolling for twos. That'll be two misses. 
and they hit as well. Lovely. Cool, so I need fives to wound, but sixes will cause double wounds. Wow. Uh, so, that's a lot of double wounds on there as well. Let me just yep. quickly put that out. It's another four, go on. One, two, uh, three, four. So you get full armor safe. Yep. Let's go ahead and do that just now. So, four up. And just remove, I'll take out the successful ones. Yep, so I fail four. Oh wow, that was really good. And then reanimation. Uh, I fail one save. Oh nice. So another one goes down. Rangers next. Uh, they're going to be firing their galvanic rifles at these Necron warriors here. So only six of them can see, including the transonic arquebuses. So I'm going to again need twos and twos. So yep, reroll those two. Oh well. One missed. failed. About time. And then I need fours to win. That'll be four wins. You will get a five up cover save and then four up reanimation. Because it ignores my armor. Cool. And then four up reanimation. And I fail one of them. Nice. So one will go down. Transonic Arquebus from the Rangers next. They're going to be firing two shots. Uh, I just realised I've actually got an Omniscope. On Omniscope for spec in that unit as well, so it would be minus one, but you yeah. Failed all the covers. Failed all of them anyway. So, twos to hit. Both hit. Force to wounds. And that'll be one wound. There's no AP on this though. Uh, no, there's AP4. AP3. Oh, so it is. So, six up. And then four up reanimation. He's fine. Our knight here is going to fire his Storm Spear Missile Pods at the Triarch Stalker. Lovely. Go try and remove so, uh, his shield, hopefully. So I'm needing threes to hit, re-rolling. Don't need that. Reroll. Lovely. And I'm needing fives to glance. That's sixes to pen. Cool. I need a six. Ah, that will just be one glance which will not remove your shield. No. No cover, but he is down a whole point. Gonna fire a rapid fire battle cannon next. Gonna fire these Necron Warriors because they're in view. Now they do get sick cover save because uh, they've gone to ground as well. Mm -hmm. Really, really good, but I'm just gonna put my pie plate there and that will get all of them bar one in the back. So, two shots. One's a direct hit. Lovely. And the other one will go an inch over yeah. and it'll probably still hit all but this guy here. So that'll be. 13 hits in total. 13 hits, I'll go get the dice and see what we wound. So 13 hits in total, which is very nice. Uh, two is to wound. Which is very nice, that will be... 11 saves. 11 saves. Now you will get 3 up cover save, and then 5 up reanimate, we roll in once. Oh my. So I fail 3. That was a fail guys. Yeah, Can you move my the side gosh, that was pretty awesome. So five up reanimations. Only one so goes down. One warrior does die. We now have the uh, Avenger Gatling gun, and we're gonna fire at these tomb blades. Do you wanna drink, David? No, I'm not gonna drink this time. Fair enough. So you will get a five up cover because I'm firing through a couple of intervening models. So I'm needing three to hit, re-rolling, and I'll re-roll those two. So that'll be all hit. Nice. And three to wounds. Uh, not as nice, but still effective enough. Cool. So we'll do the cover saves first of all. So five plus. Okay, so we save two. Who oh, no. knew? And these are four up reanimations, reroll once. Ah, oh, fail by three. So the unit will go down. Finally, our knight is going to fire his. Heavy stubber at the Necron Warriors in front of him. So I'm needing three to hit. And that'll be all hit. And then four to wounds. That'll be three wounds. Cool. So four up. And then four up again. So one will die. We've now got our breachers who are going to fire their torsion cannons at the Triarch Stalker. Real home to remove his shields, but. No luck. So we are needing force to hit, re-rolling. Thank goodness for re-rolling. 
And we do have one that gets through, and I am needing five to glance, six to pen. Never mind. Nothing. Um, anything else to shoot, Ross? Not sure, uh, I don't think so. And uh, with that, probably that will be the end of my phase, so let's move on to the assault phase. Before the phase finishes, I've got a leadership check to make here with these Necron Warriors. So, leadership 10, they're sticking around. Let's move into the assault phase. So yeah, I'm going to have a night charge two Necron Warriors. Seems a little bit harsh. Uh, would you like to overwatch? I'm assuming your shield's on the front. Oh, absolutely. Front facing. Cool. So, sixes. We get nothing. So, 2d6. I think We're I'm going to Super in. Can we quickly resolve this? Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose to automatically enact our weapons are useless. Because I can't hurt you. You have to be locked in combat to activate it. So, let's do the combat first. Oh yeah, you're going to wreck me though. Ah, uh, that's the plan. First up, David, gonna hammer at you. Uh, choose to wound. Never mind. And uh, we're then gonna attack you with our basic knight. So we have force oh. to hit. Cool. Lovely. And two to wounds. Now we all wound. Cool. Now it has got no AP. So we're looking for four ups. And then we're looking for five up reanimations. So they will both die. No weapons are useless today. So for some reason my gravity guys are still alive uh, and I get to attack first. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. So I get one attack on the scarabs and two on wraiths. Unfortunately it will be two separate wraiths. So scarab first. I hit. And it will be two to wound. So I'll be a wound. Cool. So it's not the start of a new turn for Necron yet. So we still have reanimation protocol on. Lovely. But we are six up save on the scarab. Nope. Four up reanimation. Nope. So one scarab will be down to one wound. That's the one in the far corner. Cool. And then I'll do this guy and this wraith first. Cool. It'll be uh, forced to hit. And that's kind of cocked. But it doesn't matter. And then this guy at the top on the wraith will hit. And it'll be forced to wound. And no wounds. Right. So do you want to count your dice and... Try and cause some damage. My scarabs here are going to hit these destroyers with 16 hits. So, I'm looking for fours. Oh. Solid. Oh. But it is still going to be, though, sixes to cause a wound. At this point, we're just bogging them down. So, sixes. That's no wounds. Scarabs are useless. They're just soaking up just now. And then we get six attacks from the race again on the destroyers. Well, one. Oh, yeah. Both yep, destroyers. Yeah, destroyers. Both different ones. So. Yeah, it's just the ones that aren't wounded. Okay. So um, we'll go. Okay, we'll split them up. So this guy here, first one. Mhm. Mm we've got three hits. Hit twice. And then it's uh, three to wound. Three Sixes will rend. That's one wound. And one four up. That's fine. Then three more on the next destroyer. Wow. Wow. So we're locked in combat again. With the Dominus left attack. Oh, so we are. Oh, I'm fearless. You won't kill me all. Well, no, no kill me. you all, but I'll might hammer you a wee bit. Uh, let's do this quickly. Uh, three attacks. I'm hitting on fours in the wraith. Only one hit. And I will be wounding on fours. Well, we're stuck again, David. Yeah. Don't know how I feel about that. It's, it's no Skyfire yet. That's one good thing. And with that being the end of my turn, I am reclaiming both my points, Scar the Skies and Big Game Hunter, because that uh, flyer destroyed was a vehicle. Super cool! So I've claimed all my cards, and that'll be 3 to 2 to the Admech as we go into Necrons turn 3. With the start of Necron turn 3, um, so I do have Psychological Warfare still, and I can drop to two more. So we have Secure Objective Marker 5, which is over there with the Wraiths and the Admech. Probably not happening. And then finally we have Hold the Line. So score a victory point if three of my units are within 12 inches of my table edge, and basically none of the enemy. So we've got a reserve roll to make. Uh, so... 
Come on. I'm going to add plus one to that due to hyperlogical strategist from Emotech. So he is on. Nice. We finished off the Necron movement. We brought on our reserves. So over here we have the Night Scythe of Emotech and his uh, his dudes. Um, we've got the Immortals, Stalker. You can see what's happening here, guys. The picture's becoming clearer. I, I, I can guess what you're targeting. I don't think I'm going to win this game, so I'm going to go for a big prize. <laughs> if I kill that, I'll be happy. And on this side, everyone's just kind of moved. Those warriors have moved in rapid fire of the Dragoon, or the Knight, they can shoot 24. And that Stalker, sorry, Tomb Spider, oh. is maybe going to charge the Dragoon. Really? Yeah, it might go for some funds. Cool. And then down the other side, the Overlord and his warriors are going to try and eliminate some torsion cannons. Yeah. Um, I'm going to activate, though, the Storm ability from Emotech Stormlord. Mm. So let's go ahead and get that prepared. We're the start of the Necron shooting phase, and we're activating Emotech Storm. But Ross, what side are you placing your Ion Shield on? Well, it's going to be a side that won't uh, allow me to get melted. So, <laughs> so yeah. that side here? Absolutely. Good choice. Now we're going to go ahead and roll uh, a dice for each enemy unit within 40 inches of Emotech. Cool. We checked the rules guys and we'd like to hear your thoughts on this. It's not defined as a shooting attack. So we couldn't find anywhere where it stops us rolling for units that are locked in combat. Yeah, I didn't see um, Yep. If we do it wrong, let us know. Um, but from our initial reading, we can't see anything stopping it. Cool. Now I cannot affect this. So don't roll for it. So I'm not going to roll for it. So we will start with these destroyers. Yep. Uh, and a 5+, plus. they're going to be hit, and what means is they'll get D6, strength 6, no AP hits. But we're going to continue rolling for units, mm -hmm. so I'll put a wee die there. Uh, the Vanguard underneath them. Vanguard underneath. They're not hit. Uh, torsion Cannon, single guy. I'll roll here for you. Oh, okay, okay. He is hit. Whoa. Infiltrators. They're not hit. Oh, thank goodness. Rangers. They're not hit. Uh, Rust Stalkers. Oof. You're going to insta kill them as well. Yep. <laughs> and the uh, Dune Crawlers. Nope. And you've got Torsion Cannons here as well. And they're hit. And, and finally. And we have. Dragoon. Dragoon. No. No. Not the best, but uh, let's go prepare our dice and see if we can knock off some wounds. So we've got D6 hits on the Dominus and the Destroyers. These are randomly allocated. So six, six hits. Is, uh, Majority toughness is five, so threes to wound. Okay. It's cocked. So that's five wounds. Cool. So randomly allocated. So uh, how are we going to distribute this? If it's random, you've got a roll. Yeah. So, so you've got four guys. So I'll do one destroyer A. Yep. Two destroyer B. Three destroyer C. Four Dominus. Five six reroll. Sounds fun. Okay, so first one, 5 6 reroll. Okay, destroyer A. Okay, destroyer B. I see this is happening. A, B. Oh no, that's the Warlord. What am I talking about? That's a reroll. Okay, so three hits will be on your first destroyer. Last destroyer, Warlord. Sounds fun. Uh, this guy, he is dead. He does die. Whoa. And then we have a... One on the top. One on the top. He's fine. And the Dominus is fine. I'll take it. Yeah, no bad. Do you want to do this guy next? Trojan yep. Cannon. D6 hits. Two hits. Three wounds. Nothing. Okay. Over there. Uh, next torsion cannon units. D6 hits. Five hits. Mm. I'll take it. Threes. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I randomly allocate yeah. that? One, two, three. Wounded guy. Four, five, six. Unwounded. It's all on the unwounded guy. Hmm. That's probably the best result for me. Uh, fours. Uh, no, wait. Breachers are threes. So, so he is fine. Okay. And that's the end of the storm. So next up will be these warriors in rapid fire range of the Imperial Knight. Mm. So we've got 20 shots. Let's try and get some luck. The Necrons have had no luck this game. No luck at all. I could have used those sixes, couldn't I? That would have been nice. Uh, however though, 
That's it. only fail with three hits. Oh my goodness, really? Yep, only three failed. Oh right, this plus could the be the end of the night. I'm expecting you to take three hog points off, optimistically. Yep. Now your shield's on the opposite end, so it's no saves. Yep. If I can get six sixes here, I'll, t I'll take it. Nope, we get two sixes. So he is reduced down to four hull points. Next up is going to be these Immortals. Again, six more shots into the night with no saves. We're looking for threes. We all hit. Oh. Almost sixes again. Oh man, if you can get that again, that'd be a good result. Oh. If that was in reverse, he'd be dead. Yep. Over now. Right, so needing sixes. Oh, David's. Again, Nitrons have no luck today. We're going to shoot the Twin Link Tesla Destructor at the Knight. Surprise. Same deal. Now we are looking for threes to hit. <sighs> Only two hits. We need some sixes. Give me some sixes. Double six. He's another hull point down. Oh, he's another hull point down. He's down to three. We're going to try it with the Melter. That's the big one. Yeah. So this we've got two shots in melter range, threes to hit. Oh, David. I think that would be game. That shouldn't have happened. Mm. Also, I'm totally worried where I put my shield now. We've got seven warriors here. I'm gonna shoot over here at the Imperial Knight. See if they can be heroes. Looking for threes. Okay, so four of hit. Nice. Uh, you need three sixes. Three sixes and he's gone, it's not happening. No, I have not the way I've been rolling today. No, so he's down to two hull points. Now last up to shoot will be the Overlord and his unit of warriors. So we're going to shoot the Staff of Light first of all. So, we're looking for twos to hit. Okay, two hits. Looking for fours to cause a wound, strength five, AP three. That's a wound. That's a wound, I only got five up save from that mesh field. And that will be dead. one dead. We then have 18 rapid firing gauss Whoa. from the warriors hitting on threes. Okay. So that's what? Seven misses? Mm -hmm. So 11 hits. And then we're looking for five to close wind. Sure. That's it. Two saves. Two saves. Three up from breachers. Oh, he's down to one wind, but he will be taking a leadership check. So finish David's shoot phase there, I'm just going to make a wee leadership check. Uh, uh, I've failed it, so I'll flee 2d6. 7 inches. Cool. Let's get some charges. We've got charge to the clear with the Tomb Spider, and he has moved through cover, so we're looking for 7 inches to hit this Dragoon. We get it. Nice. Uh, I'm going to overwatch with Phosphor Serpenta if you give me one dice. Go for it. Not really going to do much. Uh, six is to hit. No. So, yep. Ball away, David. I'm going to start with a Hammer of Wrath at strength six. So we're looking for fives to glance. Nothing. Um, I think you'll be hitting me first, though, Ross. Quite possibly. Uh, I am minus two to my weapon skill, though. So what weapon skill are you normally? Three. Uh, cool, I will be hitting you in force. I believe I have two attacks normally. Cool. Okay. And I am strength five, your toughness six. Never mind. Okay, so three attacks. We're looking for fours. Oof. I think we're actually looking for threes, but okay. Oh, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we're fives to glance, six is the pen. That's a pen. Uh, that's a gone, but roll to see if you explode him on a six. No, nope. that is a dead dragoon. We've got one final combat to do this turn for the Necrons, so Ross, why don't your destroyers go ahead and hit me first? Okay, okay, let's do the one on the Scarab. Uh, we're needing the one skill two. Yep. Three's to hit. So we do have a hit, and two's to wind. And that's so a wind. wind. Six uh, up save. Yep. Oh, wanna try again? Okay, drop die. Oh! Because there's no reanimation. Oh my goodness. I'm going to hit you back. Yeah, yeah, you might get me this time. You got your attacks. Just before David goes with his scarabs, I do have a wee attack on the wraiths. Uh, forced to hit. Never mind. 
Okay, so our scarabs are going to hit back next on the destroyers, and we've got 16 attacks. Okay, would be a same David. Yeah, hopefully. It's probably not. Four is to hit. So we've got four, five hits. Okay. Just give us some sixes. Nope. They don't want to play. Wow. We've got six attacks, and I'm putting all these into your warlord. Oh, well, are you going for it? Yeah. Uh, cool. Three, uh, no, four Four's to hit. That's three hit, and it will be strength six, so two is the wound. It's just three wounds. Three wounds, and I will get full two up save. Which and I fine. make. So I get three attacks back, Parax and his Micro Stubber, for some reason, it's not a specialist weapon. Fours. Yep, that's two. And then we are looking at, on the Wraiths, Toughness. Toughness five. So fours to wounds. Uh, that's a super copped. Definitely one. And that's uh, two wounds. So three up involves. One takes a wound, but they are fearless. So they're locked in combat. How Again. am I winning this combat? No idea. Hmm. So that's finished off the Necron turn three. Um, if you can take a look at the table, there's still a lot on the table. But I'm going to put this to you guys. It looks deceptively like there's two armies still battling out. There's not enough on the table, firepower-wise, to really match the Abmech anymore at this stage. So, with this combat over here being drowned out as much as it has, and the knight surviving, there's too much firepower for all the warriors to take. So, I'm going to concede Ross. Good game, dudes! We'll call it Abmech. Win yeah. 3-2. to two. Well played. Solid army. So, that was War Convocation, and uh, that, I think, hit pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't like bringing it out very often because I've heard it's pretty cruel, so I'm sorry, David. No, nothing to be sorry about. That was pretty, that was, I don't even think I played it that well. I've heard other people do other shenanigans with it. As much as it was, it was your, your game to lose essentially, you'd have to do something drastic to throw it away, you were doing yeah. phenomenally well. Yeah. Um, it was fun though, I yeah. enjoyed fighting against it, I enjoyed the challenge. Yeah. Uh, next time I'm going to have to rejig my Necron list, because that was not prepared for what was getting stopped no. my way. No, that was... Uh, um, I, I'll, I'll be honest, it's not unfair, don't apologise for bringing that list. No. It's a yeah. list that I want to see. Yeah, sure. Don't uh, care how powerful it is, I want to see it. Yeah, I'm a bit worried that I've made some mistakes. Playing through the Skatarian comic, really difficult getting all the rules right, because yeah, the rules fear. don't make sense half the time. And uh, they're just crazy. And a knight on top of it as well. You're basically one of the most complicated lists, mm -hmm. versus Necrons, which is notoriously one of the simplest lists. Yes, yeah, 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 well, so, yeah that's, that's a good way to put it. Cool, yeah. well, with that, uh, yeah, that's another, that's another video done. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this absolute drubbing. And we'll see you next time on another Tabletop Assault Battle Report.